I want to tell you about a startling realization that I had a couple of years ago. Having sung opera for about a decade, I was struck one day by the fact that there was a real difference between what I was singing and why I was singing. And I had to really stop and ask myself some fundamental questions. Questions like, why do I sing? And what is the role of music in society? And even further, what is the role of music, or let's say, how can singing specifically make the world a better place? What's more, I noticed another difference, that there was a huge discrepancy, a huge difference between the music that I was listening to and the music that I was performing. So for example, before an opera, I might be backstage jamming out in my dressing room to Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson to get the inspiration to then go on stage and sing a role like Carmen. So fundamentally, I had to think about what is the power of music? And as I reflected on this, I realized that for me, the real superpower of music, if you will, is actually to serve as a tool or a gateway to something even more powerful. And that is the human capacity to imagine. Because it is through the imagination where the real magic can happen. Imagination can unleash our wildest dreams. And it's in dreaming that we can actually think about what the world could look like as a better place. So this to me is the power of music, the power of even one single song because it can allow us the potential to view the world as a better place. In 2014, I was deeply honored to receive the Sphinx Organization Medal of Excellence, an honor that was bestowed upon me by Justice Sotomayor at the Supreme Court. It was an amazing moment in my life because she was my hero and I had the chance to meet her in person. I'd always admired Justice Sotomayor because I felt she was someone who used her voice to be the change that she wanted to see in the world and to advocate for the things that she believed in. So I decided right then and there that that was my call to action. I wanted to find ways to use my voice, literally and figuratively, to advocate for the things that I believe in. And this is why I became the founder of the Canales Project with a mission to explore issues of identity and culture through music and conversation. I'm so excited to be here on this stage tonight to welcome you to join us on our second season. We now have over a dozen partners nationwide and we are continuing to look for ways to use music as a tool to create positive social impact. That journey started right here on the TEDx Mid-Atlantic stage, and I want to take this moment to thank all of you because this community has been so tremendously supportive to myself and my organization on this journey. So thank you very much. For about the past decade, I've worked with a small group of indigenous Mayan kids in a very rural area of the Yucatan. And every time I would go and teach them about singing, I found that they were actually teaching me why it's important to sing. You'll see some of them on the video that I will show you. But most importantly, the inspiration behind the song is Justice Sotomayor, because through her example, she's taught me to dream big and never give up on the idea that Algun dia, or someday, this world can be a better place. Thank you.